Hello, I'm the Cool Banana and welcome back to more Terraria Master Mode. I said Expert Mode last time like a dimwit. Weird thing about that is though, is the watch time for that episode is actually higher than any of the other episodes, which is like, okay. <laughs> but you know what I mean. But uh, anyway, in today's episode of Terraria Master Mode, I plan to take on the Eye of Cthulhu. Hopefully we can beat him. But before we do that, I have a couple new builds to show you. Now, compared to the other builds I've done in this world, these are very, 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 very mediocre. But I only did these literally in about 10 minutes because I just wanted to have a cavern um, town, if that makes sense. I wanted to be able to have a cavern town so that I could teleport down to it to be able to um, build the elevator from this town rather than, you know, having to build it from the surface. But uh, will, the, will you actually let me buy a pillar now, one of you? Ah, yes. Speaking of which, the goblin. Now, you're not going to believe this. I built these two houses and I'm going to show the footage on screen right now because I recorded it. I came back down here to build a third house, and the goblin was sat right where this workbench is. I am not joking, he was tied up right here. Which one of you two motherfuckers tied up this poor man? He is one of the most necessary things in this playthrough. And he's selling me the cavern pylon. I love the goblin. The goblin is actually my best friend in this playthrough, which is weird, because he's my, he's my, like, nemesis in all the others. Anyway, I want these rocket boots, thank you, and I want this Tinkerer's Workshop. Now, I'm going to put this down in here just to keep the theme right, and I want to have the towns have their own purpose. But uh, what I'm going to do quickly is just combine all my accessories, and then we're going to go back up to the surface and see what other accessories we can have on as well. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back once I've finished doing that. Alright, so I went ahead and got all the upgrades to our accessories done. Now it's time for us to... Uh, Quickly have a look in the chests before we run out of time to actually fight the Arcathulu. Now, I want to have that violent band of regeneration. Thank you very much. That is angry. That will increase our damage. I suppose that will be nice to have on. If there isn't anything better to have on, obviously. Which there wasn't. Now, if you can hear a weird noise, I do apologize. Something's going on outside and it's very annoying. But, uh, yeah, there was no other accessories for me to put on. So, we've got all of these here. Which are all very nice accessories. Can't deny that. Just got a nice little double jump. And we got a couple buffs. Nothing really dramatic though. But if we do lose, we have two summons. So what I'll do is if we lose, uh, I'll farm up the materials to make better buffs. But uh, here we go. Eye of Cthulhu. Come at me, boy. Right. Now... I was actually planning on using grenades in this fight, but I did forget to buy them like a big brain. But I have got jester arrows, and I'm fairly certain I have quite a few of them. And the tendon bow really is doing the business right now. Holy shit. Come on, this is banging. Alright, I've fought you enough, Cthulhu. It doesn't matter how much health and damage you have, I will always beat you eventually. Yes. Look at that. Look at how much damage I've done. He's almost going phase two already, like... That is insane. Yeah, normally I'd have to jump cut. I, I'm pretty sure I did have to jump cut in the expert mode playthrough to get to this point. Damn zombie, go away. There you go, he's dead. Right, there you go. He's going phase two. Lovely. Now he has got a bunch of servants coming after me. Oh, that was a slick dodge. Right, let's go down here. If I can avoid it, I don't want to have to use my grappling hook to get speed because I'm not good at that. But I might have to. No, I'm good. I'm good. I've got the speed. I've got the pace. I've got the pace. But uh, yeah, I saw Chippy doing it and I was like, yeah, I'm not going to be good at doing that. <laughs> it's one of those things you sort of get from playing a lot of modded Terraria, I imagine. And that's something I've only started to delve into recently, personally. So like, for me, I have to try and get enough distance, like, uh, like you're seeing me do now, away from Cthulhu while going up and around the arena, sort of like this. Because now I've actually got the pace to get away from him. And I, 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 I feel more comfortable doing that. Whoa! Maybe not now. Alright, come on, Cthulhu. Calm the fuck down, man. Chill out. Right, away from the zombie. Right, just shoot at the zombie so he dies. Yeah. 
Just, just keep spamming that, Cthulhu. That's fine. You'll win. It's like Pokemon. Just keep spamming the super effective attacks. You'll always win. Unless you're playing online. And that's, that's a different story. But against the AIs in Pokemon, piss, mate. Easy. Easy game. Especially nowadays, it's ridiculous. Like, they might as well be making the games for... Mm. <laughs> How do I put this? Unborn babies. Fetuses, if it were. You know, they don't they can't move. Alright, come on, Cthulhu, you've got to die now. You're making me talk about touchy subjects, dude. Come on. <laughs> calm down. There you go. It's not that hard, bro. Look, you just need to calm down and fucking die. Thank you. All right, which that's really nice, actually. I got the uh, aviators. I'm not sure if that's a 100% drop. I think it might be, though. But now we've got the Eye of Cthulhu. Why have I got the nighttime jungle theme? That's like 12 miles away. What the hell? <laughs> But right, if we open up this, we've got a wild Shield of Cthulhu, which we're going to, you know, replace that thing with that I had on there. I'm not even sure why that exists. But, uh, right, hang on, lad. I'm trying to sort out my... There you go. Right, you, do you really want to take me on? I've got your daddy's shield, bro. Prick. I've got your dad's shield. I can beat you any day of the week, my son. But right now, on a serious note, if we come down here, I want to see what we can make with all the crimson we would have obtained through killing that man. Because I don't think I've actually had this much actual crimson yet. Not to mention, I'm pretty sure I still have a little bit in the chest here. Maybe not. That's a lie. Don't listen to me. I'm a liar. Filthy, dirty liar. Um, I want the meatball. But another downside to doing a uh, Crimson playthrough is you can't get the meatball until you beat the brain of Cthulhu. Yay. Right now, I don't want to bin stuff. I've learnt my lesson from last episode. I bin like 20, like loads of stuff that could have been in here and gone to some, you know, buffs. But I won. I won. And I'm a beast, so... Yeah. And I have royal gel on as well. It is warding, though, so that's excused. Alright, so there wasn't really anything we could make with the Quim... Uh, uh, there wasn't really anything we could make with the Crimtain. But the main reason we fought the Arcathulu anyway was to get the, uh... Well, the Shield of Cthulhu. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go down to the Goblin Tinkerer. Because through all the, uh, King... Uh, all the King Slime farming from yesterday uh i've got a lot of money <laughs> you know and that's after buying the tinkerer's workshop and the rocket boots and everything as well so yeah that's really nice so i'm gonna go down and get some reforges quick i re gotta remember i have a pile on there now how is it that can you just like just push m and go to this like that? yeah you can okay because i was gonna say surely you don't have to click on it every time but uh right to good. That's a very strange name, but you are a goblin, so I'll let it slide. That's warding. I don't want to change that. This can get changed. Uh, boink. Yeah, we'll stick with that. Plus three melee speed. That'll do. Spectre boots. Flute plus three damage. That's very nice. Uh, about the shield of Cthulhu. Armored. Lovely. Menacing, that's perfectly fine. And violent, that's perfectly fine. Right. That's all my reforges on my accessories done. Now it's time to get a couple on my weapons. So we've got an inept ruby staff. Let's change that to ruthless new ruby staff. Ruthless newbie staff. Brilliant, Connor. You're amazing. There you go. Demonic, that's nice. Uh, tendon bow. Bang. No. Unreal on the second this goblin is an absolute beast to gird. I'm gonna protect you for life my son You gl you should be glad I put you in the cavern Honestly, bro, you might think it's a bit dark and gloomy or whatever and there's not much to eat in that 
But you don't have to face the destroyer when I fight him and I get into hard mode, do you? Do you? No. So yeah, you should be you should be you should be happy about this, mate. <laughs> But anyway, I suppose all that there is really left to do is to uh, go explore the Crimson because I haven't really gone down there yet other than to smash those two uh, Crimson Hearts. But, I mean, I should probably go down there and set up an arena to take on the uh, Brain of Cthulhu, probably. So I'm thinking we could do that and then maybe farm for some resources as well. Which is brilliant, because we've just got the Dryad. Which is really annoying, because I could have sworn the Dryad spawned in after you killed King Slime. But, nope. It's after I Cthulhu. Alright, I thought it was just a boss, not the Eye of Cthulhu. So does that mean if you were to go through the game and not kill the Eye of Cthulhu, because he isn't technically required, you won't ever get a Dryad? I don't know, I've never done that before. I always, um... I, I always kill the Eye of Cthulhu, I don't know. I, I, I don't always kill the King Slime, though. But what do you sell that would be good for me? Uh... Alright, so I went ahead and got all the materials ready for us to uh, head over to the Crimson and build our arena to take on the Brain of Cthulhu. If we could get two bosses done today, that would be awesome. I, I really don't know if we are going to, but at the moment, this video is only going to be about 10 minutes maybe, so... It's looking like we might. The only thing that's kind of making me feel a bit iffy about it is the fact of I don't have any proper buffs, if that makes sense. I went ahead and made the Bloodlust Cluster as well. I felt like if we didn't have enough Demonite, I could just kill the uh, I Cthulhu again. I mean, he wasn't exactly hard. Like usual, I over-scared myself the second I had Hermes Boots. Well, to be fair to me, actually... I didn't get Hermes boots until after a full set of gold armor, so it's not really my fault. <laughs> you can't really fight expert or master I Cthulhu without Hermes boots. Well, expert actually. Now I've fought master mode. I managed to get him to phase two and quite a bit th through phase two as well without Hermes boots. So I reckon you could do it on expert mode, but not master mode. No way. But anyway, we've made it to the Crimson, which is very nice. And I actually want to grab some of this Shadewood quickly as well, because I think this... If I remember correctly from... a uh, bad bad boy came out of a fucking tree! Well, I was just about to say I've almost infiltrated the fucking nest, but I got ambushed the second I went near there. Jesus Christ. Spiders. Spooky motherfuckers. Yes, yeah, Star Fury still coming in handy. I'm pretty sure I got this thing on episode 2. And there's a chest down there. I'm getting that, motherfucker. Oh, yes. These boys weren't ready for my infiltration. I made it seem like I was going to retreat. And then while they were all outside trying to get me up, I, I ran on in. Haha. -ha. Perfect strategies. I came down a different way before. Okay. Does this lead to a different place? Because that would be just a tad bit fucked if it did. Can I, can I have some more torches? It would be nice. Right, let's get it down. Ah, uh, there's things I can't see because it's dark. Sombro. Do you want to fight? Yeah. Let's, let's have a go then. Bang. 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 You're dead. Alright, this is spooky. This is spooky. I found another, like, core to the crimson as well. I didn't realize two could exist in one world. Well, like... In the same crimson, at least. You know what I mean? And I'm getting a lot of these spider boys on me. Can I just say? A lot of these crawlers. Blood crawlers. The spooky motherfuckers. They aren't the hardest thing to take on, though. They're not as hard as wall creepers. Wall creepers are the worst. I think we can all agree on that. But I don't actually own any torches. Which is very spooky. Goldfish! The fuck is he doing here? And it meant to be like a crimsonated goldfish or some shit. Why is it a regular goldfish? Run! Get out, dude! You're gonna get basted! Alright, so I decided to jump back on down into the first chamber we came into. Not only is there two life crystals in here, which is very nice, but there's also more crimson torches to light up the area. Very nice. Very ambient. <laughs> 
And there's also a fairy that just led me to a minecart track. Now, I'm not sure if you can see this fairy. Are you trying to take me to the life crystals I've just mined up, big brain? I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but there isn't much you could offer me, fairy. Go away. Alright, so this is the arena for the brain of Cthulhu completed. Now, I'm just having a look in my inventory to see if it's a smart idea to actually take him on. But I've noticed I haven't actually got any bombs, so I can't anyway. So that's kind of good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to the base and prepare all the stuff I need to take on the Brain of Cthulhu. And then we'll be right back. And yeah, we'll be ready to take on the Brain. Alright, so I was able to make a Iron Skin Potion, which is going to be a really big help in this fight. I wasn't able to make anything other than that, which is kind of sad. But at least I was able to get that, which I didn't have in the I Cthulhu fight. So I'm going to be able to take more hits than I could in that fight. And I'm not sure the Brain of Cthulhu is harder than the Eye of Cthulhu. But I don't know. I wouldn't say the Eater of Worlds is harder than the Eye of Cthulhu. I know I struggled with it more. But like... <laughs> that's because I, 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 I'm bad at fighting worms. Alright, so I actually forgot to buy bombs because I'm an absolute fucking idiot. But uh, anyway, I'm going to go for... Uh, Go for 25 bombs and two dynamite. We'll, we'll 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 splurge a little bit. Why not? Right, we'll just click on that and we'll go over here. But anyway, I'll see you back at the Crimson, where we will take on the brain of Cthulhu. All right, so I'm back in the Crimson and it is really dark here. I just want to try and get that bomb thrown. Come on, there you go. Now I've got somewhere where I can place the bomb properly. But I want to take care of this thing that's coming near me first foul beast get back there you go then i'm gonna plonk a dynamite there and i'm gonna buff up and the brain of cthulhu will be with us shortly there he is the boy himself how'd you like my spindy doodle mace my son i haven't fought you and i have no idea how long my friend and you inflict darkness well that's just good isn't it you don't do much damage though with those creepers i've got to say this wool guy, he needs to back off. See, he does damage, you see. Why are there more? It's a boss fight. Why were those wall creepers spawning? Why? Alright, there you go. Bloody Spine. That is what it's called. Very nice. Right, I can make one of those so I can give him at least one more go this episode, which will be nice. If we do fail again, then uh, we'll probably just end the episode there. But we have got our Cthulhu done, so... And not to mention the arena's all built and everything, and we'll be able to take him on straight away next episode. Because I'll be able to just do a bit of farming for the materials, let them all grow and everything. But, uh... Yeah, hopefully we do beat him, though, because I'll be really disappointed if we don't. Now, just give me a sec to get rid of this slime that, again, is spawning in the wrong fucking biome. Right, buff up, bloody spine. Here we go. Right, now get away from me with those damn creepers. I've got my bow out this time. What are you going to do, motherfucker? Right, come on. Right, the health bar's actually pretty cool. It's showing me the health of the creepers. But, uh, yeah, like, look. This is how this boss fight should be going. I couldn't even get a rhythm going because the bloody... I was trying to kill the fucking wall creeper. And if I didn't, I would have just been kept getting knocked back into the, um... What do you call them? I've got slowness again. Jesus Christ. Honestly, the debuffs in this boss fight are insane, but they don't last long. They are completely fair, don't get me wrong. Not like the enemy spawning. That's the only thing I'd con ever consider unfair about this game, is when enemies spawn during fo boss fights. Everything else is perfectly balanced, I have to say. There's one, there's another. I want to get those tissue samples. Just in case I die, I can still make things. Oh, dear. Back off.
Ah. Oh. That second phase, I had no idea what to do there. See, that's where you can see where I haven't played the Brain of Cthulhu very much, though. There is a lot of tissue samples and everything for us to, um... For us to pick up so we can make some upgrades, though, which is really nice. And then, hopefully, with those upgrades, we'll be able to beat him next episode. So, uh, I'll see you back at the Crimson so we can have a look at how much we actually got. Alright, lovely. I seem to be getting quite a bit of tissue sample now. If most of it comes from the creepers, that's pretty cool, but I also think that probably could do with changing. You know, just because if I'm able to make most of the stuff now, that would seem a little bit overpowered, considering I haven't beaten the brain. 123 tissue samples. Now, that's kind of answered my question. <laughs> but, uh, right, let's see what we can actually make with that. My number one priority is the meatball, or whatever it's called. The, uh, the mace that you can get from the crimson. Jesus Christ. Alright, can you calm down on the, uh, on the old crimtain? There we go. The meatball. 36 melee damage. Yes. Now that is an upgrade if I've seen one. Then we got the flesh grinder, which is a hammer. Uh, but the most important stuff is the Deathbringer pickaxe. And this upgrade to our armor, which hopefully I can make a lot of. Let's see. 20, 25. Oh. Well, I'm going to make the helmet. The boots. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fight another Isle of Cthulhu quickly. So we can get that last piece of the armor. So, right, let's go, boys. We've got half a night left. We should have plenty of time to take on this boy now. Right, let's, let's go, Cthulhu. Where are you coming from? There you are. Right, let's go, bad boy. Come on, I haven't even got a heart landed here at the moment because it's at the crimson. But, you know, let's go, bro. Alright, here we go, phase two. Lovely jubbly. The moon has barely moved. That's brilliant. I love that. You know, the thing is as well, is there isn't actually been an increase. Well, there has been an increase to my damage, actually. That's a lie because of the armor, but like I haven't got a better weapon as such. Well, actually, I could be using the meatball right now. Why am I not doing that? Because it shoots projectiles, damn it, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. Does it shoot? Is it this? As I look at... No, no, that's the other one. What's it called? The Dribbler one that you get from a... Uh, from a Blood Moon, I believe. And that, that might be a Hard Mode one as well. So that's for a little while. I do like my meatball, though. Look at that. Honestly, I don't know why. But fighting this thing with the, like, mace is so much fun. Like, I did it in Journey Mode. And it's just fun doing it here as well. You know, it's just... It makes the boss fight both more challenging yet easier at the same time. It's weird. It's like, if you use it in the right circumstances, you can get, like, brilliant damage with it and stuff. And you'll you'll be fine, you know? And it, it can get, actually make damage more consistent when he's in this rabid phase. Because even though the damage is a bit lower, he's still going to be constantly trying to run into you. So you can just like, yeah, mate. Yeah, hurting yourself. How do you feel? I'm not dying to you, motherfucker. Oh, I, I died to him. <laughs> I got cocky. I got cocky. Oh, well. It's fine. But all right, then. With that uh, chain of failures at the end there, I'm going to end the episode here. I know it's kind of not the best note to end an episode on, but I'm happy about it at the same time. We beat Ayakathulu, and we're more than ready to take on... 
the brain of Cthulhu next episode. So uh, yeah, if you enjoyed if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment, etc. And uh, again, thank you for watching this episode of Terraria Master Mode, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.